Okay, so here is an update. So I, I actually got a saw. I sprung for DeWalt. Um, figured out that it is three quarter inch plywood. The setting is slightly a hair over on the DeWalt setting. But so the subfloor is, is pretty much a historic event. I mean, I'm just gonna, I've decided to bite the bullet and just do the whole thing in the most high end, sh I mean, I found this composite flooring that's made for yachts, that's waterproof. And that's what I'm gonna use. I'm gonna redo the entire insulation. I'm gonna put this Kusa composite three quarter inch, which is costing me a bundle, by the way, in case you wanna know, it's 1400 bucks wholesale, a wholesale. Um, and underneath that, I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go with this killer sound deadening insulation this new shit that's not fiberglass it's not that weird pink stuff that's gonna get under your skin that you can possibly potentially breathe who knows what the story is behind that so that is <clears throat> the subfloor to date now yeah i could patch it you know I, I could just do the floor and this and that but i said to myself you know what if i pull off the subfloor and i fell i walked right through it you can see the ground i went straight through the the skin underneath the the belly is just chink chink chink. So <clears throat> this Airstream, <clears throat> you will be able to shower and hose down the inside of the cabin of this beautiful yacht. <clears throat> and there'll be no mold, no mildew at all <clears throat> because I am gonna cover it with a specially ordered Alto skin that is going to be adhesived, glued with this special glue on top of that alt, alt, on top of that Kusa composite flooring. Now, let me tell you, I could leave the Kusa composite flooring. It'll be an awesome black floor. People will go, oh my God, what is that? It looks so nice. But I'm even going one step beyond that. And I'm gonna put a skin from head to toe without one seam, ladies and gentlemen, okay? not one seam. And the way I'm putting in the composite flooring is with as little seams as possible, okay? So I notice sometimes people will go across like this, you know, which is cool. A little bit more seams, one more seam to be honest. So essentially what I've decided to do is just to do it right, to do it, uh, you know, in today's world, today's technology, so that this never happens again. Now, if you're, if you're susceptible to mold or mildew or spores or you ever walk into somebody's trailer and it just doesn't quite smell right and you just don't know what it is and some people have that stinky funk, you know? When you, went, when you were a kid, you went over to a friend's house and it was just like pong, never going there again, just like eating friend's food or whatever, you know, from their having dinner at a friend's house, you just want to throw up. Anyway, so that being said, um, the other thing is the weight. The weight will be reduced by 45%. Now, and I'm telling you, the wood as it would sit normally as plywood, forget marine treated plywood, because marine treated plywood is 28 to 35% heavier than normal plywood because it's sustaining all of those oils. Basically, it's been, it's been coated and dipped in oil, right? And it never is waterproof because water always finds a way. Where there's a way, there's water, okay? So um, that's the other thing is when this, when, you see, the way this behaves over a prolonged period of time, this is a sponge, you know? And then when it dries, it turns into this. Look at that powder. See that powder? Now, microscopically, you're breathing that. So if you're not breathing mildew, mold, and pathogens that are associated with airborne, moisture-related contaminants, you're going to be breathing in that dust. And that cannot be good for anybody, okay? Microscopically, if that is in the air, even if it's one breath of air has it per day, that's 365 breaths that contains that powder. 
And that is no way for the lungs of your body or anybody else's to live. And that's why I've come to the conclusion to spring for it, to pull the trigger on the best available. Not only that, but cut to the next video and I will show you what I'm thinking about doing with the water tanks.